Assalamualaikum. My name is Aina Nazaha binti Muhammad Nam from CS2514A. Today, I will present my mini project IoT. My mini project title is Smart Pet Feeder. Before I show my project demonstration, allow me to explain a bit further about my Smart Pet Feeder. So, let's start it. Why I made this project is because mostly nowadays many people have pet at home. Feeding your pet is a one of the priorities of guardian daily routine. But sometimes we as owners are too busy with our work that we nearly forget to feed our pet and make them well take at home. The first problem I feel though was that sometimes owners were too rushing to go out which caused them forget to refill the bowl pet. Other than that, the second problem is that when the owner had an outstation or trip, their pet may not have gotten enough food. The last problem that pet's owner mostly worry about their pet's meal when they need to outstation. So it caused them to leave their pet at a pet hotel even if it is expensive. Next, the objective of this project are to develop an automatic system with set timing so that owners do not need to worry about their pet be hungry when they when they are at station or if they forget to feed it before leaving home. So this project, owner can set a timer for the pet feeder to refill the bowl. The second objective is to give a notification when the jar of food needs re refilling. As a result, a user will be reminded to refill their pet food jar. The significance of this project is this pet feeder project will bring benefits especially to animal lovers that are always busy and up for a trip. Furthermore, this smart pet feeder will make it easier for users to feed their pets during their absence. In addition, owners no longer have to be concerned about their pet's food and can let them go free. Okay, now I will show my project circuit. As you can see, I use no MCU ESP8266. Firstly, I will connect no MCU to the breadboard and uh, no MCU will be connected to the servo motor in here. Uh, this servo motor will be rotated in 90 degree to drop the food and it will rotate back 90 degree to stop food from drop. Next, uh, I will connect no MCU with the ultrasonic sensor in here. As you can see, ultrasonic sensor, this is ultrasonic sensor. Function of ultrasonic sensor is to measure the distance of food left in the jar and it will display the uh, quantity of food on mobile application in percentage. So that's all. Thank you. Okay, now I will show my project demonstration. I use Blink application to control my pet feeder. Uh, when you open a Blink application, you will see three section: device, automation, and notification. Okay. Firstly, I will show automation session. Automation session is a session where user can set a timer for pet feeder to drop the food. Um, as you can see, there are two set of timer: feeder one and feeder two. User can uh, user also can uh, turn off the timer if they want. Okay, now I will show how to set a timer. In a device session, uh, when you click no MCU, you will see current date, current time, 
butter on off motor and a food percentage in a jar as you can see right now food percentage is 35 percent but when you uh, turn on the motor the food percentage change to 29 percent in notification section there are a list of of message that have been sent to user in blink application now i will show when notification we send